Welcome to Peace Haven Horsemanship and Riding School in Western Massachusetts. This is going to be all about the feet. Your horse's feet, your feet, and communicating with your horse. We're demonstrating here no need for reins if you know how to communicate with your feet. Again, we have a bunch of obstacles to help you hone your skills once you get the basic ones down. Now this one's controlling each step of the horse's feet. I want you to watch RJ's foot in a moment as he slightly touches with a spur to ask him to lift his foot. Here he goes. It's going to go up and just touch. Okay, he's got the hint. This is what we want him to do. So it's all about the legs. And in our writing school, we don't use a bit to yank on their mouth or anything. We're, we're just using a halter. Most of the communication is done with your, your legs, your feet, the position, your weight, and body. One of my favorite obstacles is a swimming pool. Put one foot in or two foot, and then we might travel around. And all the little obstacles we have throughout the farm are to help you hone different skills. So you can see stars backing around. Oh, I'm just going to put both feet in. That's what we usually do. And he'll work his way around. And this is, notice RJ's legs off a little bit on the side he wants him to move to. He just touched him slightly with that uh, leg and then a, a little kiss with a spur to make him move. So he's going to want to step forward now. He's going to do the same thing but with the hind feet. So he just going to touch him slightly. Okay. Star knows it's time to take a few steps. So now we're going to keep back feet in and move the front around. These can help so much, especially if you like riding in the woods and you have to get around trees. It's all honing your skills. At Peace Haven, we have hundreds of acres backed up to tens of thousands of acres. Some day rides can be for a whole day without ever going across the same trail. So, the precision here, backing up carefully. This is my favorite obstacle, I think. Well, next to favorite. But it's, it's really challenging. And once you have your basic skills, you can start on some of these, honing them to really be able to ride your horse, truly ride it. And I think this may be my actual favorite, the balance beam. When you start out, it's just a matter of having enough confidence to keep you on the platform, walking up and over it. But once you get a little more honed, you can be shifting your weight. Just watch. A lot of this is going to be RJ's weight, just shifted slightly. Nice and balanced. There we go. Now this is a pretty precision move that RJ is doing here. It's got to be a fairly advanced student to do it. Just stay on that platform and turn around. Notice how gentle we use the reins. It's precision stuff like this does require a slight little touching of the reins. So this is a top view. You can see RJ is like a little ant down there. If you look closely though, you can see his hands are out of the side. He's demonstrating this obstacle course sometimes just canter around for fun. Uh, 
also, as he's going to demonstrate, and we'll see close up in a minute, it's used to uh, ride around without your reins. So he's got his reins around the horn, and he's going to just ride this obstacle course with no reins. It's all about the feet. So we're in Western Massachusetts. Give us a call if you want to learn how to really communicate with your horse, true horsemanship, and very nice riding skills. The number's on the screen, 413-634-8800. RJ or Paula will be happy to talk to you. So some of the turns might be easy, straightforward. Other ones, look at that, almost a right-hand turn. I like to say, look, Ma, no hands. I think he's going to pick up the pace here a little bit. There we go. So give us a call if you want to learn some of these skills. RJ truly is a cowboy who's got great horse skills and just loves to teach them to people. I hope you enjoyed this video. And give us a call if you have any questions or you'd like to learn how to do stuff like this. Have a great day.